I built this little table to hold a computer for experiments, but I ended up using it mostly with my joint strength tester, and it's a bit too small for that. So I'll build a bigger one. The frame for this table is going to be similar to this little desk, but without the height adjustment. So I cut the pieces of wood to length on the table saw, and after that I ripped them down the middle. Then, planing two sides of each piece on the jointer. And after that, planing them to final thickness and final width using my thickness planer. There's just going to be two legs attached to horizontals, one under the table, the other one on the bottom, so I have a place to put casters on. With this cantilever like that, the strength of this joint is key, so I'll be putting as many mortise and tenons on here as I can fit. And the piece is just wide enough that I can put three one quarter inch tenons next to each other with a quarter inch in between. And here's cutting the mortises. Four sets of three mortises for the uh, bottom and top pieces and plus two more pieces to tie the legs together. I prefer to cut the triple tenon part like this, not with a router, but on the table saw with my box joint jig, because it is really like a box joint. And this is actual speed for cutting the triple tenon. I haven't sped this part up at all. Now I just need to round these corners for it to actually fit in there. Now adding a quarter inch round over to all the outside corners of the legs before I glue them together. I was having a heck of a time closing those joints. They fit tightly when they were dry, but with the glue in, the wood swelled a bit and it was just almost impossible to close them. This bracket goes between the two vertical parts of the legs and it is made actually exactly the same way as the legs themselves. Now I could have just put mortises in the legs themselves and put the cross piece in that way, but uh, this way it's screwed on which means I can actually take this table apart into components that are relatively flat. So the front of this plywood just sags a bit too much. So I made some trim to go around the edge of this plywood and that will hopefully stiffen it up a bit. And that trim is just a rectangular piece with a rabbit cut out of it. And I cut that by making two cuts with a table saw. Cutting those flush with a table saw is quite a bit faster than using a flush trim saw. I varnished the pieces off camera, now it's time for the final assembly.
This tray is for holding the power adapters and cabling. So that's a much better sized table for the strength testing apparatus. And more importantly, it frees up this one because I actually need a table of this size.